show. Whether we're five round four or two, grab the gold. Let's go, who the fights? Yes, that show. Get it popularity, wanna overthrow. From the territory, reaching to across the globe. Time to make history, let the world go. Never underestimate the power of a team. Standing united to realize one dream. Anyone who got it before would not believe. Who the fights make excitement extreme. Ladies and gentlemen, know you ready. Gather around that is it's okay. Gonna deliver the fight or four cards, not to stage five. Oh, no, no. Ladies and gentlemen, know you ready. Gather around that is it's okay. Gonna deliver the fight or four cards, not to stage five. Oh, no, no. You're Sean Solis? Solis, yes. Solis. Yeah. Right on. Where are you fighting out of, brother? Smith Martial Arts here in Bend. Yeah? Yeah. Right here out of Bend, Oregon. So right you got here. a big fan crowd coming on. Uh, sold a lot of tickets. Got everybody coming. It's going to be exciting. Yeah, you know who your opponent is? This guy out of Colorado? Yeah, uh, Alan Washington. That's about all I know about him. This is a title fight, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You looking to keep it here in Bend then? I will be keeping it here in Bend. That's the plan. Yeah, how old are you? 22 as of two days ago. You have 11 fights? 11, or this will be my 11th. I'm 6 and 4 right now. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Right on. That's not a bad record, man. So yeah. what, are you looking to go pro if you take this title? Yeah, I mean, every fight I've had, uh, I'm looking to have the toughest dude out there. Um, my first fight, you know, went out and dominated and felt good about it. And from there, I just wanted to fight the best dudes. Um, yeah? I've had six of my ten fights have been title fights. And just looking at... And are you wearing six belts? I'm wearing three. You're wearing three so, of the six? Know, it's been back and forth with the titles. Um, this will put me at four and three. If I win this one for title fight record, right? But uh, that's the plan. It's, you know, get out there and win, and learn. So. Sponsoring you, Ola. Ola. Ola oh, restaurants. Right on, man. That's, that's cool. Sugar Sean, right there on the back. Sugar Sean. Yeah, man. So, how's your family feel about this? Looks like you got strong support over there. Yeah, they've. My dad's my co- wrestling coach my whole life. Oh, right on. He drove me all over the nation, wrestling in national tournaments. So we've been doing the high level stuff as long as we can. Uh, my mom and sis, they been right beside me ever since yeah you know um, strong support system they'll be cheering me on definitely on Saturday I'm Alan Washington from, out here from Denver Colorado representing Team Wildman Colorado Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Stapleton Mass Destruction and uh, Rocky Mountain Truck and Repair uh, right now my record is 8-4 and 8-4 and four all MMA yes yeah right on man what kind of style you like to stick with I like fighting yeah that's a good yeah. style man it's exactly what you need in there right Right on, oh, yeah. man. So, what's family life like with with all the MMA work? Uh, my, uh, I got my back 100%. You know, they tell me to come out here, smash, yeah. come home with the belt, uh, return the winner. Yes. Yeah. That's it. He's single, ladies. MMA is my girlfriend right now. Right on, man. You know I mean? So, how many years you been been deep in martial arts? Uh, four, about four, four years. Yeah. Amen. Right on. How old are you right now? I am 39. Just turned 39 back in February. This, this is my uh, first time uh, fighting for this promotion, so I'm excited to be here. Put on a good show. Jack.
also he's a definite fan favorite here in this building, Heather. He's from right here in these parts. His opponent, Washington, comes to us all the way from Denver, Colorado. The fans are cheering on their hometown kid, Sugar Sean Solis, and he is ready to go, Trent. He wants that belt. And I'll tell you what, Washington didn't look him in the eye at the face-off, Heather. But here we go. Washington bounce around the outside. Solis trying to narrow him down, get him in his sights. Solis comes in, misses feet, misses feet. Washington throwing from the outside. Washington has about, looks to be about three or four inches on him, Heather. Solis, low single, almost pays for it with the right hand from Mr. Washington. Solis jumps forward again. Big heavy right hand from Solis, turns Washington around, no contact. He gets in, takes a high double leg. And now he's all over Washington on the ground. Neutral corner. A little bit towards Washington's corner. Salise standing up on top. Has guard half passed. Now he's giving him the works. Right hand. Gets the pump and landed square on Mr. Washington's forehead. Salise wants to make sure Washington does not come back from Colorado again. He said, this is my cage. I'm taking home the belt, Trent. Washington goes to his back, tries to lock down that left leg of Solis. Solis pops back up, gets a little room, gets that right hand a pumping. Washington kicks out the leg, tries to stand up. Solis is all over the back of Washington. Washington now doing a very good job using that cage to try and sit up and face Solis. Washington working his way up through the feet. Solis trying to stay high on him with that left shoulder. Almost half getting behind Mr. Washington. Knees him and takes him back down. Solis now, top side control, has half guard. In Washington's own corner. What would you be telling him if you were Washington's corner man at this point, Heather? Trent, I, I would be telling him that he's in a bad position. I mean, Solis is giving him damage in whatever way that he can, wherever he may be on that cage floor. What, what do you tell any guy underneath Sean Solis? The guy has just phenomenal wrestling, very dominant position-wise, and here we go. Washington back up to his feet, tries to make him pay with a quick left hand, doesn't quite get it, but Solis is right back down to his hips, Heather. Washington has that right hand in a whizzer. Doesn't do any good. Solis takes him straight back down and is in his guard. We got short time in this first round. Looks like we're going in the second round, but Solis is doing everything he can to maintain coverage. Trent, I know it's the, an early round for this fight, but I give that round to Sean. I would. I, I, I would too, but I'll tell you what, Heather. Solis extended an absorbent amount of energy that in that true. first round. Washington didn't expend all that energy. The big question, I think, in the second, third, fourth, fifth round is going to be, can Sean Solis keep this pace up the entire time? And if he doesn't, we just might get to see more openings like what we saw with Mr. Washington throwing that big right hook. Coming all the way from Lapine, Oregon, into the face of Sean Solis. Here we go, referee is calling it for round two to start right now. Solis in the black and the flag shorts. White shorts, Washington has about two to three inches on Solis. Solis comes out, low kicks again. Comes up into Washington. Washington catches it in a cattle catcher. But Solis still finds a way to get underneath him. Turns him around and drops him on his head. Now we're north-south. Washington tries to come around, get a guard back. Solis rides around inside control. We are in 
We are towards Sean Solis' corner and more of a neutral corner. Smith from Smith Martial Arts shouting instruction just feet away from Sean Solis. Sean Solis isolates the left arm of Washington. Starts getting his right arm going, landing quick. Leather jabs with that right hand to the face of Washington. Because Washington still has, to this point, his left hand isolated between the knees. Not a good spot to be in right now, Heather. Solis is just doing everything he can to maintain coverage and put damage to him. Solis is just so good at dominating the position. And then we have Washington trying to jack. So Community. And here we have Sean Slees right on top of Washington again. Washington trying to stand up. Sean Slees just says, no, I'm not going to allow you to do that. Slees now on the back of Washington. Legs are tied up. Slees trying to thread around that left arm in front of Washington's neck. And Washington's just not allowing at this point. Sleeves all over the back of Washington. Washington has his right leg postured up like he's going to stand up, but he doesn't have very far to go, Heather. Sean Sleeves is still going to be on his back. Very true, Trent. In his own corner, Sean is still dominating, and there is not much Allen can do except for change position on his back. Trying to crawl up the cage with his legs, but Sean is making sure he's not getting anywhere by doing that.
sleeves just all over the top of him, Heather. Riding him around everywhere. Washington just does not have an answer to Solis' domination game on the ground, on the canvas against the Cajun, and scrambles. Solis now starting to work the knees. On the ground, Solis is permitted to deliver punishing knee shots to everywhere except for the head of his opponent. Now he starts to land some big shots. Washington balls up, turns around. Solis gets on top of him, flattens him out. Washington pops up, throws a left hand, backs up Solis. We have a momentary stop here. I'm not quite sure what it is. Might be something to do with the tape dangling from Solis's hand, and that is correct. This is big, Heather. This could be giving Washington just a break he needs. They're not Shot Solis out. And he comes forward, big fly and knee. That was beautiful. Hey, Come I'll on, tell man. you what. I wish we had a replay on that, Trent. That was beautiful. Washington comes out with a flying knee, and Solis answers, turns him over, and puts him on his back in his corner. You cannot, at this point, question the heart of Washington. He is doing everything he can at this point to stop this fight. Beautiful, beautiful work by Sean Solis. Showing why he is championship material. Short time. Do not count Washington out if he does these kind of maneuvers. He is one shot away from winning this fight. But here we are, Heather. We're going into the championship rounds. The fight is never over till it's over, Trent. We know that. I'm looking down there in the cage, Heather, and I'll tell you what, Sean Solis has put out a lot of energy. He looks very tired right now. I'm looking over at his opponent. His opponent doesn't look near as tired, near as fatigued as Sean Solis right now. He is usually a phenomenally uh, cardiovascular athlete. He can go five rounds, 100%. But I'll tell you what, one of the things we haven't talked about yet, this is Ben Dorgan. It's three quarters of a mile high. His opponent's from a mile high in Denver, Colorado. I think they're both winded, Trent. Solis is playing a good game. It might be a little bit of a safe game. We're round it's four. A good game. It's going to take one shot from Washington to knock Solis out. Washington bouncing around. Good throws out that left hand. Lands, but no real damage. Best thing Washington can do is stay away from that takedown. But you know what? So far, no doing. It's tough. One of the big rules if you're a stand-up guy versus a wrestler, you don't try and kick him because just like that, that gives the wrestler a green light to come on into your space and take you down. Now we have Solis on top of Washington, neutral corner. Solis, trapped in the swamp and half guard as Professor Bill Bradley would say. Solis on top. Washington rolls over Solis. This is big, Heather. Solis on his back now in front of his corner. And Washington just landed a thundering left hand that shook the building. Washington now in full mount. This Holy is not coach. a good spot. This is not good. Is the champion too tired to go on? Solis gets three quarters position, starts to cover up. He's holding on to the fence. Bruce Hagen says, no, don't do that, son. Washington trying to come around with a knee to finish this fight. Mitchell Lee's, I'll tell you what, Heather, Washington staying in this game. He's full in the kitchen sink at him. So Lee's waits for his right moment, turns around, and they're both on their feet. There's a nice reach by Washington. So Washington knows Solis' game, Trent. So he shoots in, Washington sprawls out. He just has a single arm up there for the takedown. That's not going to get it. Everyone watching at home, this is what we have here is a championship title fight in the fourth round. These boys are putting in work. This is why I love brutal fights. I'll tell you what, Derek Bruin has done 
a heck of a job with these fights here tonight, honey. Solis in a resting position, three quarters position. First call, Dave Hagan wants to see some action in this fourth round. Russian starts spinning around the side, gives a brutalizing knee. Another one. This is not where Sean Solis wants to be. He's trying to get out of it, but he's got to dodge those punches. Scramble up to throw a knee. Solis catches it, and that was a big mistake, Heather. That gave Solis the window here to get on top of Washington, control him in the corner. Short time in this fourth round. That's it, round number four in the books. I'll tell you what, every round Washington is getting closer and closer to finishing this fight. Sean Solis has three minutes left, Heather, to hang on. Trent, round number five. Dave Hagen says, are you ready? And these boys are both ready. Fifth to see who's taking the round. belt. I'm Fifth. telling you, this is go. Sean Solis' fight right now, but the, it's anyone's game. The crowd is on their feet. The crowd is yelling sugar. They want the belt to stay here and bend. Washington has different plans. Washington bounce around the outside. He is light on his feet. Washington steps in left, right. No real intent there. Solis moves out of it. Washington tries to do some crazy spin kick, Heather. And I'll tell you what, Solis knew that was coming way before it even happened. Solis knows that all he's got to do is hold him down for this round. And he's got that shiny belt. Is he going to play it safe? There we go. He's got the takedown. Washington on his back in Solis's corner. And you, know, you can't really say that, Heather. I'll tell you what. I've seen some crazy decisions here from the state of Oregon Athletic Commission. He never let go of the judges. That is true. In my eyes, I believe Sugar has won four of the rounds so far. I believe you are correct. <laughs> Round four was close, but not quite any cigar for Washington, who is being mauled on the cage right now by Sean Solis. He's doing everything he can to keep his hands on Washington. Well, the boys are in a lock right now. Neither one wanting to go to the ground. Actually, I believe Sean does want to go to the ground. But uh, Washington's saying, no dice. I don't want to do that this round. Solis goes for a single leg. Elevates Washington. Washington now has both his legs in. Comes to the ground with Solis and looks to have a little bit of a guillotine but it's under the right arm of Solis, so no real big threat, I don't believe, from this angle right here. doesn't appear to be a, much of a threat. Referee Dave Hagen looking close. Solis in half guard from his position. It's tough to finish a guillotine from that spot with the rotation that the top man has on him. Solis' skill showing heavy in these championship rounds. Washington tries to slide out the back. Solis pops out his head and gets control. The fans are on their feet for this one. Solis now getting that left arm active and in level. If you are here, not here tonight and you are watching at home, this is some live action. Make sure you buy a ticket next time to Budo Fights 11. It is awesome to watch it up close, live in living color. We do appreciate you watching at home. Short time, and I'll tell you what, Heather, if you do plan on coming here, get your tickets early. Fifth and final round, seconds left, and that is it. It is to the judges. That is it. Sugar, 
Sean Solis throws out his mouth guard. He raises his hands. That boy does believe he is the champion here tonight. He has taken home that belt. His fans don't think any different. Nice sportsmanship. Here we go. We got promoter Paul Heatherman in the cage ready to deliver the belt to the final decision winner. That's a beautiful belt, brother. I saw it last night, the way it is. And it is beautiful. Custom made Budo Fight. And you know, that's just like Budo fights. They do the best of everything. They take care of their fighters. They do everything to bring in the best talent, not just here in the state, Heather, but they proved it this fight from all over the region, from Colorado to California to Washington to Oregon. They brought in the best for us here tonight. We certainly have the packed house here tonight. Central Oregon saw a beautiful sunny day. But they came out here tonight to rock the house at the Midtown Concert Hall here in Bend, Oregon. And let's see who's taking that belt. He did it, Sugar Sean Solis got the belt and is keeping it here in Budo, or, excuse me, Bend, Oregon, for Budo Fights 10. And I'll tell you what, there's not very many men on this guy's hit list, but I'll tell you what, Bonsai Betsa has to be one of them, Heather. I'd love to get Bonsai Betsa and this kid together. I'll try, I do believe that Gus Betsa is at home watching. He has messaged me and is watching the fights tonight. And I'm sure he was watching his eyes on Sean Solis here tonight. Maybe we'll see him at the next video. A little tip off to the matchmaker, Derek Groom. Maybe we should set that up. I'm going to do everything I can to try and get these together. These two, these two are made for each other like they're coming from Match.com.
bugs, deaf, anything you need. Absolutely. Supporting local businesses, you know, Pro Organic is, um, and Down to Earth is from Eugene. They're really great. We do have a dot com What's the and dot a Facebook. <laughs> GreenleafGardenCenter.com. GreenleafGardenCenter.com. And, uh, Look, now, also stop by Facebook and like <laughs> GreenleafGardenCenter.com, and uh, you guys can keep up with what the uh, newest trends and safe gardening measures and things like that, right? Yep, yeah, yeah. absolutely. New products that are coming. Um, we're constantly getting new lines in here, so whatever our customers want, that's what we're trying to give. Right on. <laughs> this is uh, Greenleaf Garden Center. Uh, we're here off of Ninth and Wilson. Uh, 910, I believe, is the address. Uh, we've been here for four years, coming in April. Uh, definitely all your indoor, uh, outdoor, organic gardening needs, and then some um, from hydroponic, uh, soil, uh, seed starting, propagation, uh, everything. Uh, yeah. Stop in the green leaf. Yeah, definitely. Come check us out. Watch a champion ascend as they take flight. Gonna bring the crowd to the feet. Let's go. Whether a straight trap, head kick, a body blow. Whether submissions are KO, they put on a show. Whether a five round war or two, grab the goal. Let's go. Who the fights? Yes, that show. Gaining popularity, wanna overthrow. From the territory, reaching to across the globe. Time to make history, let the world know. Never underestimate the power of a team. Standing united to realize one dream. Anyone who doubted before would not believe. Who the fights?